A new chapter for Italian politics, but no burning books or bridges. Giorgia Maloney presented her government's agenda to the Italian parliament on Tuesday, seeking to reassure nervous international partners that despite her party's post-fascist roots, she will remain a solid partner for both the EU and NATO. I have never had any sympathy or felt any closeness to undemocratic regimes, for any regime, including fascism. I have always considered the racial laws of 1938 as the lowest moment in the history of Italy, a disgrace that will mark our country forever. The 45-year-old Prime Minister, Italy's first woman to ever hold the post, has been sharply critical of European mainstream politics. She surprised her coalition partners by meeting with Emmanuel Macron on Sunday night, as the staunch pro-EU French president was in Rome for a peace summit. And those coalition partners, former Interior Minister Matteo Salvini of the far-right League and Silvio Berlusconi of Forza Italia have both been close with Vladimir Putin. She is hoping to renegotiate several points with the EU from the country's share of European recovery refunds to taking a harder line in stopping migrant boats from crossing the Mediterranean Sea from North Africa. Her government's programme won a vote of confidence in Italy's lower house of parliament on Tuesday. It will be put to another vote in the Senate on Wednesday.